Academic integrity is based on six values. At university, this means acting with integrity in terms of collaboration, which includes working on group assignments, acknowledging other people's research and intellectual property, avoiding plagiarism and not cheating. This applies to all unsupervised assessments. For example, written assignments or visual and audio materials created for assessments and all supervised assessments, for example, exams or tests. A breach of academic integrity or acting in a way that isn't in line with these standards is called academic misconduct. What does it mean for you if you breach academic integrity? There are a range of penalties ranging from an interview, change of grade and exclusion from the university, which can impact on your ability to do further study at this or other universities. So what can count as academic misconduct? Here are some examples. Example one, a student worries that they will not be able to complete a 3000 word assignment. They find a website offering an assignment writing service. The student pays a fee, receives their assignment written by someone else, types their own name on it and then submits it. This is academic misconduct. Submitting someone else's work as your own is academic misconduct, whether you pay for it or not. You must do your own assignments and talk to your lecturer or tutor if you're having difficulties. Example two, a second year student is working on an assignment. The paper builds on the concepts that they studied in the paper during their first year. The student goes back to an assignment they did in the first year paper, they copy a paragraph, then paste that paragraph into their current assignment. They then submit their current assignment, including the paragraph from the first year one. This is academic misconduct because it is a kind of self-plagiarism. Resubmitting work previously used to gain further credit is a form of academic misconduct. You should write new work and check with your lecturer if you have any problems. Example three. For an assignment, a student writes an essay that includes a reference to McShane et al. 2016. This is the original and this is how the student has used it. The student has changed one word at the beginning of the sentence and then switched the form of one word at the end of the sentence. The rest of the sentence is the same as it is in the original. This is academic misconduct because it is plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you take and use the ideas or words of another person and you use them as your own. When you're writing, your ideas and content will either come from you or someone else. If the information is from you, there's no problem with plagiarism. However, if it's from someone else and is a written text, you've got two choices. You can either quote or you can paraphrase. Quoting is one way to use other people's words and ideas with integrity. Here is our original. Here is a correctly referenced quote. Copy the exact words and put them inside double quotation marks. Then give the author's surname, year of publication, and page number where the words are from. Another way to use other people's words and ideas with integrity is by paraphrasing. Here is our original. Here is a correctly paraphrased version. This is not plagiarism. The student's version indicates that they have used three strategies. Change the order of ideas or words. Use similar words. Use different word forms. The student has also provided the author and year. Lecturers usually think paraphrasing is better because it shows you have understood the content of the readings. Students can also run their work through Turnitin. Turnitin is a text matching tool that shows how similar your work is to other people's as well as previously submitted assessments. You will submit most of your assessments at AUT through Turnitin. Find out more about Turnitin here, scan the QR code for some videos on how to use Turnitin. Look at the final example. A student gives a presentation. This slide from their presentation is an image which they found online. This is academic misconduct because it is also plagiarism. The student hasn't acknowledged the owner or creator of the image. One way to avoid this plagiarism is to reference the image. Add a figure number and the attribution. Add the title, the owner or creator, the year and a hyperlink if available. Then you can reduce it to fit below the image. Alternatively, you can just add a slide at the end with a list of links for each image used. Check with your lecturer about assessment requirements. Need some more help? Go to the AUT library website and choose the drop down doing assignments menu. Look at videos and examples of referencing an APA. Come to a library workshop or a drop in session with a learning advisor. If 
you want to know more details about academic integrity, you can do these modules to help you.